I want to thank each one of you for being here as an encouragement and support of this decision that they're making today. Marriage is not something created by the state. It's not something invented by specific individuals. Rather, marriage is a holy institution created by God himself for our enjoyment and for his glory. And since God is the creator of it, it must be done his way if we had experienced all that he wants us to experience out of it. It also must be understood by all here today that the life that God joins together today in Brandon and Haley can only be enjoyed because of Jesus' sacrifice for us. Brandon and Haley, today is a day that God has made for you to take pleasure in. Today is a day when majesty meets humanity in an act that can only be described as miraculous. Today is a day where the most confusing mathematics occurs as God takes two people and makes them one. Today is a day that you commit to a covenant relationship with each other as husband and wife. Today is your day, your wedding day, ordained by God and blessed by His Holy Spirit to be enjoyed and celebrated all for and because of Jesus. Haley, your name means gifted, and that you are. From the time you were little, it was obvious that you were gifted with many talents, such as singing and dancing and acting. You've obviously been gifted with great beauty, especially today. But it's not just an external beauty that you possess. Your true beauty comes from within. You have an inner joy that shines through that beautiful smile and those gorgeous eyes that just draw people to you. Even though your name means gifted, we could just shorten it to mean gift because that's what you've been to us, is a gift from God. And I'm thankful that Brandon is going to cherish that gift as much as we do. I promise to love you relentlessly through perfect times, hard times, and everything in between. I vow to fill your love bank every single day. I vow to promise, <laughs> I promise to really, really make you laugh out loud. I promise I will be there whenever you need me. I vow to pray for, with, and over you. And I vow to lay my life down for you as Christ has set the example for us. I love you, Haley as I've loved no other. All that I am, I share with you. I take you to be my wife and my best friend from now until forever. Brandon, you bring me so much joy. I love that we can dance, play, laugh, and sing together. God has done amazing things with your story, and I thank him daily for letting me be a part of it. I've been praying for you my whole life and will continue to pray for you to seek the kingdom first. I promise to always be here for you, to make you laugh, to pray for you, to encourage you, to dance with you, to always beat you in Monopoly. <laughs> I promise to be your cheerleader as you pursue your dreams because seeing you do what you love is my dream. You're my home now and you carry the key to my heart. I love you and I vow to always choose love first. Brandon. Mom and I are so proud of you. We are so proud to see the man you have become and are becoming. And we just 
I want to just encourage you to continue on the road that you're on, seeking the Lord, continuing to rest in His unconditional love. Don't forget our family verse, which is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. So keep that in mind, always in your heart. You are now husband and wife, but therefore God is joined together. Let not man separate. Kiss your brain.